Hi, today I want to look at a scene from Spider-Man 3 where Spider-Man meets the symbiote that's going to bond to Eddie Brock and famously become the Venom. This is a magnetic ferrofluid display, a toy that you could buy online. It contains a black fluid in there that's uh, made out of iron particles, so that's why it's magnetic. You can control it with a magnet. This fluid is inside an unknown solvent, which we think it's probably water or sugary water. So we're going to try to replicate this display, this effect, at home using household chemicals. Let's try it out. So a cheap way to make this at home is to use toner. And for that, I want to thank Donnie Simpson from Dawson College Print Shop that offered me a big amount of toner. A lot of videos online use uh, VHS tapes or cassettes that they, uh, they treat with ammonia and all sorts of chemicals. That's a long process. So a very a much easier way to do this is to find yourself a friend that works at a print shop and get some toner. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put about three scoops of toner inside our bottle. It's a very messy process, so try to wear gloves if you can. All right. Oh, see? See what I told you? All right. And from there, we're gonna put some canola oil. You could use motor oil or olive oil, all sorts of oil. They all work differently, but it can give you about the same result. So we're putting just a little bit in there. And you need a surfactant. The surfactant that we're using is aloeic acid. But if you can't find any of that, you can also use citric acid. Works as, works as, same thing. Works as good, that's what I want to say. All right, so about 10 milliliters. Here. Here you go. You have your ferro fluid. So we're gonna pour our homemade ferro fluid on the middle of this petri dish. Oh yeah, nice symbiote. There we go. And we're gonna be using a neodymium magnet, very strong natural magnet. All right, so this could definitely get messy, but it's a really a trial and error type of process. So uh, don't be shy to mix your different quantities and try it around. And don't be shy to put your comments below. Cheers.